Shay. Candle to Regis. <laughs> Filling in for Regis today, of course, is Nick Lachey, star and host of The Sing Off. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Which in the New York Times today, an article about how well your show is doing in the ratings. So, congratulations. Thank you it's very a big, much. Big uh, success. Yeah, it's been fun. You know, it's fun to come back for a second season because you kind of feel like you find your stride a little bit. You yeah. know, the first season, everyone was kind of figuring out uh, what the show was going to be, and now we're mm -hmm. back for, you know, for a second, and it just feels really good. All the groups are phenomenal, and, and the judges are doing a great job, so uh, it's, it's a lot amazing. of fun. It's amazing. There's so many talented people out there, and, you know, yeah. shows like yours really highlight that there's talent all around us that you never... Lurking everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah, people. it's amazing. No, you know, I mean, as someone who sang a cappella for a lot of years mm -hmm. with 98 Degrees and did it on, on national TV, I know how hard doing that kind of music is, mm -hmm. and, and to see how well these groups do, you know, day in and day out, it's, it's, it's an amazing, uh, you know, testament to their talent and mm -hmm. their poise, and it's just, it blows me away every single show. Hey, do you think 98 Degrees will, like, get back together and do a reunion? A lot of the, the you know, the bands are. Well, we never, you know, we never technically we never broke separated. up. We separated. You know, right. we're, we're still together. I mean, do you we're think just, you'll be touring? We're, we're or? just hiding somewhere. Yeah, we're, right. um, you know, we've always kept that door wide open because you mm -hmm. know we're all you know still good friends. We uh, we stepped away on very good terms, so you never know what you know what the future will good. bring in that regard. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Oh, God, that's a look. Yeah. Right it's freezing outside. Have you well, been outside? I mean, beyond like your hotel room and coming here, have you been outside? This is a true. I yesterday flew from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I went out yesterday morning. Yeah, yeah. Cincinnati. <laughs> And I got in my uh, I got in my car and the thermometer in my car said six degrees. Six. Six degrees. It just doesn't seem right. You can't think in six degree weather. Like, it, 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 body functions don't yeah. happen. Like, no, you, you're right. It, all cold. you know is get to warmth. And well, look, you know everyone here is complaining about the weather, but yeah. I just saw this this morning, that actually in Paris. They have snow. Snow? Snow in Paris under the Eiffel Tower. It is snowing in Paris. The Paris. That is how you say it's snowing in Paris. <laughs> they are okay, skiing in Paris. They are skiing en uh -huh. you know, I know. I know how to say something uh, in French. Après ski. <laughs> which means drinky, drinky, yeah. happy, happy. La bière. I'm actually excited uh, because um, I'm, I'm so excited that I'm injured this holiday season <laughs> because um, we were we were supposed to go skiing and I'm sure you know the rest of them the rest of them will be skiing. I'll just be sitting by a crackling fire, <laughs> après ski, starting at 10 a.m. Well, you know what. It's better to actually do it before you get on the slopes than actually on you? the slope. Yes. It's always embarrassing to get injured on the slope because then they're going to tow you down. They tow in the, you down in the and the dog with the thermos oh. shows up and you know, the whole thing is just mortifying. So it's actually better this happened before you got to the slope. But I think I feel like I should wear a sign that says, this happened before here. Yeah. You know, I didn't do this here. I'm an accomplished green circle skier. <laughs> I can ski <laughs> down a hill with the two-year-olds like nobody's business. You know, and I, I never picked up the skiing thing. It's the boarding thing. I was, I was a snowboarder. Really? And, and the last time I went out, and now since then I've learned my lesson, you know, and this is a word to the kids out there, always wear the helmet. Because oh, I yeah. literally caught an edge on my board the last time I went boarding and literally knocked myself out. I didn't no, have to get towed down by the dog with the thermos thing. Did but, you? But it was still, it scares you a little you bit. You had like, no wow. helmet on? I had no helmet on. I, mean, I thought I was cool. I wear a helmet, and like, I, if I could wear a helmet on my whole body, I would. Like, I wear so <laughs> much. Big body I, sleeve. I look like the Michelin man with a helmet floating, <laughs> floating across 
the um, the hill. You can get one of those big like sumo inflatable suits, Thank and you. that way you go down the hill on that. And if anything happens, you just kind of bounce off the ground. Aren't they working on technology where if you fall, like something inflates in your helmet, right? Isn't that? That was my invention idea. Oh, that was your invention. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Thanks right. for giving that away. That's it. I'm sorry. I think, <laughs> I think those are for like the motorcycles. You know, when you if you ever right. crash your motorcycle and you hit right. the pavement and then everything inflates and kind of protects you, but you can probably right. do that yeah. on the slopes. I think too. that they sh they should do that on the slopes. I mean, at least for somebody like me. So. I could maybe be go beyond the green circle. <laughs> beyond the little rope that you hold? And up the I did learn how to use the ski lift. But, <laughs> but once I stayed on it as it was coming back around. And then, you know, in case you're wondering who that person was that held up that line on Christmas morn. <laughs> lady right I, too, have ridden the, uh, you know, the ski lift down the hill. Down the oh, Always yeah. embarrassing. And everyone you see, everyone's packed coming up the hill, and you're the only one. <laughs> Going down the hill, just waving. Yep, I chickened out. Yep, I'm going that way. I didn't mean, I didn't um, stay on intentionally. I didn't chicken I out. I just off. lacked the ability to get myself out of the chair. The kids, you know, what happens is when you're, when you're a mom and you're skiing with your kids, and, uh, and there are moms out there that can ski, and they're saying, you're wrong, Kelly. No, you don't. But yeah, I did. So I helped the kids up and when they got up they both on either side of me pushed me back down. They used me as leverage <laughs> to spring out of the chair. So now I'm like, wait kids, wait for me, don't move. Then it starts to make that turn and then it's it too, late. That turn. Well, it's too late. It makes that turn. No, they, they put on the emergency stop and people came and like got me down. Very embarrassing. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Very embarrassing. Um, you'll appreciate this because of the, the show that you host, but my, um, my <laughs> seven-and-a-half-year-old son, Joaquin, had his uh, holiday pageant last night. Mm. Um, he was so adorable. He had to sing in German. And I, I, I know that, like, all parents think their kids are adorable. But mine really is. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> they did this thing where they um, where they they had to sing this song in German. I have no idea what he was saying. But when they ring the bell, they go ring a ling a ling, and 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 his head he kept going ring a ling a ling. <laughs> and I think, Mark, are you recording this? Please tell me you're recording this. He has the whole the whole thing on video. It's so great. It's going to be like the the Christmas gift for the whole. My family. niece just informed me the other night that she's uh, is playing a reindeer. In the, in the Christmas pageant. Oh, that's a big role. So I thought I'd be, you know, tricky uncle and say, oh, well, was she, you know, reindeer? Are you, are you dancer? Are you prancer? Right. And she's like, no, I'm the only reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she's represent, representing the entire reindeer coalition Good for the uh, Christmas job. pageant. That's a big job. That's a lot of pressure it is on a one, lot of pressure. one little lady. Hey, congratulations. Speaking of little ladies, I hear that uh, you're engaged. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. I figured, it's, uh, you know, i got to start catching up to all these people having kids around me. It's, I know. Um, I'm well, falling way behind here. So. Yeah, it's time, right? It is do you, time. Do you talk about that? Do you, um, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think she and I share a very similar kind of vision for, you know, we want the future to be and, mm -hmm. and having a big family is part of it. So mm -hmm. um, I'm not getting any younger. Was, <laughs> was, it, a was it a surprise um, uh, for her? You know, was it a surprise? Get did you yeah. get down on the knee and the whole thing? Not only did I get down on one knee, I got down on two knees. Wow. Because I was... Incredible. Some call it, some call it a proposal. I was begging, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the one knee wasn't working, so I said, oh, I got to go for both of them. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it, was, it was definitely the year. You know, we've been together four and a half years, and we both knew it was, uh, it was time to kind of move on to the next chapter. Oh, so. uh, wow, that's great. And so Thank do you, you think that you'll, like, um, are you involved in planning? Like, will you plan? Are you a planner? I'm, a pl I'm you know, I'm not like Groomzilla planner, you know, like I don't take over the, the whole thing, but... You know, I like to be involved, but guys are kind of in that impossible middle ground where we want our significant other to feel like it's her day, you know, and we want her to make the decisions that are going to make her happy the rest mm -hmm. of her life. So, really, ultimately, it's her call, mm. but you can't act disinterested either, you know, you, you, because then you get in big trouble, I found out, right. you know. No, honey, whatever you want. What, you don't care? <laughs> but you, you don't care about this day? No, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I just want right. you, have, you just have to kind of sit there, guys, and we, and we just grin, and we just nod, and then we look nod. at the checkbook and say, oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Not, right. But I'm definitely, I, you know, I, I want to be a part of it for sure. Oh, that's great. I mean, I always wonder about that for, like, uh, from a man's point of view. 
of course, it is the bride's big day, but you still want to have delicious cake and good food, I'm assuming, you know. And well, so. I think what we're more concerned with is, is can we get a TV at the bar at the reception <laughs> so that conveniently we can sneak out and check the score? And, oh, honey, I'm right here. You come back in and check the score. And I'm right here. You know, I'm right here. Are you planning your wedding around some big game? I'm just saying, <laughs> if the Kentucky Derby happened to be on on the same day, <laughs> It might be convenient to have a hotel TV there so people can check. It's, it's for my, it's all, you know, Or we could just friends. have a it's big screen me. right there in, in the, in the, um... On the stage behind the on band? On the stage behind the band. Why, just you know. pipe in the game behind the band. That's a great idea. I like it. That's like so it. funny that you're already planning that there would be uh, a game on during your wedding. I'm I, just trying to account for all the little curveballs that could get thrown, you know, our way during this planning process. <laughs> you know what I think um, you should do for your, um, I mean, forget, forget like a traditional bachelor party. Mm. Forget it, okay? Because you can go right here in New York City. Uh, there's a card store. You know card shops where you can buy like lovely, um, mom, I hope, uh, I hope your back surgery goes well. Um, at this card shop, the owner and proprietor right. is also a pole dancer. So, <laughs> while... Kind of a one-stop shop there. Whilst you're picking out your wedding card to <laughs> Vanessa, you can have your bachelor party there at the same time. It's a very interesting concept. You can buy the, the, the cards over here on this row are the it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I, uh, is that funny? You know what, I, I, bachelor party for me is just, uh, it's all about that like, golf and, you know, macho guy stuff. We don't need pole dancers and all that nonsense. We're just, you know, it's about, it's about getting together and having a few cold ones and playing the little cards, you know, smoking a cigar. I hear that she also goes to golf courses. Really? <laughs> She's mobile. As a matter of fact, this is a golf hole. This, this hole is in. Yeah, that's right. This is the, eight, the 18th hole. You know, back in, the, back in the day, they used to have, like, the bookmobiles that would go around. You know, she's got, like, the cardmobile, and she goes around to different events with this. This is actually, I like this. holding it this way even better, because this makes it even more of a challenge. <laughs> She's incredible. Uh, she just can't fall down. Wait, what's her number again? <laughs> I'll, I'll slip it in your bag. Mm. Um, do you know what the top... Do you, you're download. You're computer savvy and all that. You download things. I'm computer proficient, I guess. Ah, I would say savvy, but computer I, can, I can get online. Yeah. You, so you're not like Regis. You don't think that it's a phase. <laughs> I may have initially, but I, I've given up on that theory. I think really, it's here to stay. He believes it's a phase, and he believes that you can somehow get into the tweeter. <laughs> well, what Regis He's told... Like, where do you go to get into the tweeter? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, I go into the magic box. Well, he saw the teletype come and go, you know what I mean? He <laughs> saw, maybe he thinks the computer's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be in and out. for the return of the Pony Express. <laughs> Oh, all right. Didn't get the reaction I was hoping for. <laughs> anyway, here are the top downloaded stars in music. Um, of course, uh, the number one song, Hey Soul Sister by Train. I was a little surprised by that. I really was. Um, California Girls by Katy Perry. Uh, Perry. Um, mm -hmm. Love the Way You Lie by Eminem. Airplanes by B.O.B., Dynamite by Tayo Cruz, um, and of course the albums were Recovery by Eminem, and uh, Animal by Kesha, and The Fame by Lady Gaga. And I have all of these on my iPod, so I feel like I'm very, I feel like You're I'm hip, hip and dope. So there. Very hip, very hip. Did you see this? Speaking of like uh, the future and, and technology, and this was in the paper today. This is the... Uh, the gentleman who's res responsible for WikiLeaks. This is his underground bunker. He has a lair? In Sweden. Looks like something out of, you know, 2054. I mean, this guy had a, a state-of-the-art facility built underneath a mountain in an old bomb shelter. And, uh, and literally, I don't know what he's preparing for, but uh, apparently guys, he was all set up. what is going on? Crazy. It is so James Bondian. <laughs> Oh, my God. Will he ever see the bunker again, though, is the question. Do you think that there's a costume that accompanies that bunker? <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you sure think that he puts on... I'm sure there's on, quite a few things that accompany that bunker. Do you think he puts on, like, a lair suit? <laughs> it is very, like, Dr. Evil, you know? This is underground lair where he... Like, I envision him when he goes down to his bunker wearing something like this. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> Lady Gaga stole my wax figure again. <laughs> this is the wax figure of Lady Gaga. It was, uh, it was uh, re released, revealed, yeah, unveiled, unveiled <laughs> uh, yesterday. So this is... That uh, is some serious hair product. I don't know how she gets really to stay cool. like that. Really, really cool. Have, do you have a wax figure? Um, a at Madame home Tussauds. for my personal <laughs> use, sir. <laughs> I just, they're making a wax figure of me, and I know that seems redundant, but um, they, so they, I, I was measured, mm. and they measure everything, like your fingernail beds, like and Madame your eyelashes. Yeah, like the they come in and they measure your eyelash length, and your, you, the, the length, the distance between your nose and your eyeball, mm. like crazy measurements. I mean, they measured every part of my body, which, uh, by the way, when they measured my body, it took very little time. <laughs> They're like, wow, it's all the same width. It's all the same. You have no variation. Like, I told you, I am a square. I, I, actually, I actually have a wax figure, too, now that I think about it. There's a, in, in a strip mall in the Philippines. No kidding. There's a small little wax Tell museum. Me you've been home 90 now. Degrees was huge. Huge in the Philippines. Yeah. Really. <laughs> and there's a very, very well done wax figure there. No kidding. Yeah. Do you ever go see your wax? I would think I, a wax figure in the Philippines is very hot. Would it be hard to keep it from melting? I can't speak to the to the Filipino technology that keeps the wax wax figure in place, but apparently it's doing very well. Incredible. I'm dying to go there now just for that reason alone. You'll have to. To have see to. the 98 degrees wax figures <laughs> in person. Um, we've got a huge show today. Aaron Eckhart is here. He's got a new film, Rather Good. Right. And, uh, and from, uh, from the Jersey Shore as well, Mike, the situation, Sorrentino. We'll share his workout features and show us how to get those ads. He's like running an empire. The he situation is. has a situation going on. <laughs> and, uh, and we wrap up Live's perfect holiday gift week with tips for finding the perfect tech gift. And I want to remind everybody uh, that tonight at 10 o'clock on uh, TLC is uh, the newest episode of uh, my show, uh, Homemade Millionaire, where you can also find interesting gifts at HSN after the winner is unveiled. Very nice. So Very nice. just a little programming note for y'all. <laughs> uh, it's time for holiday spectacular travel trivia. Yeah.